Good morning, YouTube. Happy Hump Day. It's Wednesday. Today is the beginning of my fifth day of my 30-day transformation. And uh, I kind of have a renewing of the mind, renewing of the spirit. Uh, I keep saying, um, forgive me, I need to work on that. I know that most of the things I say about this journey have been negative. It's been a struggle. It's been hard. It's been a huge mental um, game. I don't know. I don't know if it's a game, but it's really challenged me mentally. And I can't tell you how many times I wanted to give up or quit. This morning, I wanted to quit. But as I'm sitting here driving to work, I had a bit of a renewing of the mind. So I got on the scale this morning and I lost yet another pound. So I'm down to 198.8. Yay me. Whoop, whoop. Um, but I did my measurements around my waist and I've gained an inch. And I don't understand. Not an inch, a half an inch. So when I started out on Saturday, I was 34 and a half inches. Today I'm, well I guess it has been an inch. 35 and a half. And I don't understand why I'm gaining inches but losing pounds. Usually it's the other way around. Maybe I'm not losing pounds but I'm losing inches. So it just kind of got discouraging. I know I'm not following the plan 100% but I would venture to say I'm following it 92 to 95%. So I don't understand why um, I'm not getting the results I'm looking for. So it's just really challenging. But I'm not gonna quit. I think about how I envision the way I want to look. And the only way I'm gonna get there is if I keep pushing forward. I look at people who have done this before and I know it wasn't easy for them, but they did it. So I'm gonna keep pushing on. Day five, come back to you all later on with an update. Have a great day. Hey, I'm back. Still day five of my 30 day transformation journey. This morning, I told you all I woke up with a refreshing renewing of my mind, I guess you can say. I thought that I was weak and I was ready to give up. I had a very weak moment and then I envisioned what I wanted myself to look like at the end of this journey. I thought I was strong. I thought I was going to make it. And that weakness crept back up today. So I have fallen, fallen like Alicia Keys, <laughs> way off of my meal plan. But I'm not going to let it hold me down. I feel both guilty and good. I had to abruptly stop my video because I'm at work and my coworker walked in. So if you hear him in the background, that's him. But as I was saying, I fell off my meal plan, but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to start again. It's not too late. So this is what I had today for lunch. He's laughing at me, you guys. 460 calories, 22 grams of fat. 1,160 grams of sodium, 12 grams of sugar, all stuff that I don't need, <laughs> and it's not on the plan. And then guess what I had for a snack? <clears throat> Krispy Kreme crumb donuts. I don't even want to know what's in this, but we all know that it's bad, but... I got it out of my system, I think, at least for now. I don't even have any cravings anymore. I don't want it. I'm ready to get back on track. And I'll let you all know at the end of the day how I did. See you in a little while. Oh, I meant to mention, I feel both guilty and good about my decision. Guilty because I really wanted to see this plan through to the end as it was intended or as close to it as I could. I feel good about it because <laughs> he's back there singing. Um, I feel good because uh, 
I got it out of the way. Now I don't have to constantly be thinking about it. I, it's, I guess it's something chemical in my brain. So hopefully it's enough to get me going now that I got those cravings, those salt and sweet cravings out the way. See you in a little bit. All right, final check-in for the day. I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all. Today was a complete failure on my 30-day transformation journey. I started off well. I ate the meal, or one of the meals that I was supposed to according to the plan. Then, like I showed y'all a little while ago, I had the pizza and the donuts, and I thought I was done, but it didn't stop there. I had a bag of cheese puffs, um, came home, ate some more frosting, drank some milk, all not on the plan, and then I baked some brownies for my class. Tomorrow they're testing, and so I baked some brownies from scratch for them. I ate some of the batter, and I ate one of the brownies, and had some more milk. Let me just tell you, was it all worth it? No. It was probably okay to do the pizza and the donuts and then be done. Just from that alone, I came home and I was laying on my couch and my stomach was doing some weird stuff, trying to break down this bad stuff. And then I went and ruined it with the brownie. <laughs> I'm done, for real. Tomorrow is a new day. I didn't work out today. I just kind of went all out. I'm praying, God give me strength, that it is out of my system and I can get back on track. Tomorrow is my day six. That's when I'm supposed to take my pictures. So in the morning, I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to take measurements and weigh in and give you my six-day progress. And hopefully I can figure out how to edit to where I can insert a picture in tomorrow's update video. And we'll see what uh, changes happen to my body despite this cheat day I had. This momentary lapse of weakness. But I'm not going to beat myself up. Tomorrow's a new day. Got to keep pushing forward. The transformation is still on, still 30 days. I can still get results even with that one cheat day. See you all tomorrow. Hope you all had a wonderful evening. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Chubby Chocolate Rug really quick. She's one of the ladies that I follow on YouTube, and she's also on a weight loss journey, and she's doing wonderful things, excellent things. She's on live right now. Uh -huh. See yourself, Chubby Chocolate. I got the volume turned down, but yeah, there she is. So, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed. Thank you for liking the videos. Those of you that are new, thank you for watching. Please continue to follow me on the journey. This is one of the motivating factors so that you all can see raw and in living color, in living color, <laughs> that it can be done even when you struggle, nobody's perfect, and nobody's going to get it all right on the first try, but you can still get results. So keep watching. I'm determined to see this through to the end, and hopefully I don't get off track too many more times. But anyways, you all have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow. It's bedtime for me. Good night.